Good evening. My name is Judge Michael Hogan. I have known Alexis Al since her freshman year of high school, and it's with appreciation and happiness that I have been chosen to participate in their wedding. Alexis and Dan have brought us together here for an occasion of great joy and given us cause for great celebration. Having found each other, they have built a kind of relationship that will serve them well as a foundation for their marriage. They have chosen each and every one of us to be here with them, to witness their wedding vows as they join together as husband and wife. No minister, priest, rabbi, or public official can really marry you. They only can acknowledge what the two of you have done, for only you can perform the act of marriage. Alexis and Dan have acted upon a dream we all share, that one day I will meet the person to whom I can reveal myself and who will listen to what is said, hear what is left unsaid, and who will accept me as I am unconditionally. Alexis and Dan, you have been given this greatest gift of all, each other. There is wonder in the world that must never leave you, of having in all this world found each other. Nurture that feeling. Be reminded constantly that not all who pass through life are as fortunate. Be gentle, be kind, be forgiving. Be grateful for the loving families that each of you bring to this marriage. Cherish them for their joy and their happiness. For Alexis and Dan, being able to share their wedding with you, surrounded by the love and support of family and cherished friends, is truly a blessing. Knowing that your best wishes go forward with them, strengthen them as they embark on their journey as husband and wife. Each of you, family and friends, has given something of yourself to their lives. It is fitting, then, that you are asked to witness and share in this commitment, made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and eternally renewed. By this ceremony, we give lawful and social recognition to their decision to accept each other totally and permanently, and their willingness to accept each other's strengths and weaknesses with understanding, respect, and good humor. And for the second reading, I'd like to ask Dan's brother, Ed. So the reading I chose is really brief, um, so I'm going to add a few words of my own at the end. The title of this is To Be One With Each Other by George Eliot. What greater thing is there for two human souls than to feel that they are joined together to strengthen each other in all labor, to minister to each other in all sorrow, to share with each other in all gladness, and to be one with each other in the silent, unspoken memory. So, I believe that the enduring relationship rests on two pillars, and those pillars are compromised incompatibly. And having seen Alexis and Dan's relationship grow over the years, I'm certain they have these in spades, and I wish them a lifetime of happiness together. Thank you. Each marriage is unique, for each person is unique. But in every marriage, each person is given the opportunity to find new strength and purpose. You have each resolved that you can best attain life goals by marriage to each other. Therefore, Dan, you come here freely, and of your own desire today to take Alexis as your wife and to live together with her in the state of matrimony. I do. And Alexis, you come here freely, and of your own desire today Take Dan as your husband and to live together with him in the state of the I do. Now please turn, face each other, hold hands, pledge your love. Dan, you repeat after me. I, Dan, take you, Alexis, as my wife. I, Dan, take you, Alexis, as my wife. I pledge to live my life with you. I pledge to live my life with you. To speak the truth to you. To speak the truth to you. To love, honor, and care for you. To love, honor, and care for you. To cherish and keep you. To cherish and keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In prosperity and in adversity. In prosperity and in adversity. For better or worse. For better or worse. Whatever, whatever our lot in life may be. Whatever our lot in life may be. And forsaking all others. 
and forsaking all others. Keep myself only unto you. Keep myself only unto you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Please repeat after me. I, Alexis, take you, Dan, as my husband. I, Alexis, take you, Dan, as my husband. I pledge to live my life with you. I pledge to live my life with you. To speak the truth to you. To speak the truth to you. To love, honor, and care for you. To love, honor, and care for you. To cherish and keep you. To cherish and keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In prosperity and in adversity. In prosperity and in adversity. For better or worse. For better or worse. Whatever, whatever our lot in life may be. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Forsaking all others. <laughs> and forsaking all others. Keep myself only unto you. Keep myself only unto you. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Alexis and Dan wish to use rings as a symbol of their love and vow and their vows. The ring being the ancient symbol of such vows, since it's the most perfect form in nature and endless just as love is meant to be. my ring I give you my ring as I give you myself as I give you myself as a sign of my love and fidelity as a sign of my love and fidelity <laughs> you repeat after me I give you my ring I give you my ring as I give you myself as I give you myself as a sign of my love and fidelity as a sign of my love and fidelity you will from here forward be born together and you shall remain together forever in the memory of those who love you. May you both henceforth be joyous and oneness. With your wedding vows, each of you now seals the truth of your heart in the soul of the other, and each of you will be at peace within the thoughts of the other. Since you each have shown your willingness to enter into marriage with one another, and your understanding of the love and respect called for by a married life, and have today acknowledged all of this before family and friends, I now, pursuant to the power invested in me, the Constitution of the Law of the State of Illinois hereby affirm this marriage and pronounce you husband and wife.